marriage, marriage, marry. Oh Lord, have mercy on us. When it comes to marriage, you see, there are three groups of people who are married. The group that talks about marriage with a beautiful smile on their faces. There's the group too that talks about marriage. That's the second group with so much pain on their faces. And there's the third one, the actors. Those who will talk about marriage with a smile, but with pretense written all over their faces. Keeping up appearance and pretending that everything was okay. But you see, I believe in marriage. I've always believed in marriage, but I've never thought that marriage is a must where you must kill yourself for and you have to be desperate for and therefore when you get married, it's an achievement you have arrived. I believe that marriage is a beautiful institution created by God. He created it for a purpose. Of all the things that God created, I mean, marriage is one of the most beautiful things. But unfortunately, the human beings that go into this institution called marriage, they go and corrupt it. They go and mess it up with our wickedness, with our enviness, with our dishonesty, with our lies, with our, with, with, with our you know, violence. But then when you meet two people who go in there with the love, compassion, the concern, the, the, the kindness, and everything that God created us with, you see that marriage is a beautiful institution. But of course, like everything, no matter how good the people are, there will be some challenge because they're two human beings who have come together, raised from different backgrounds. But marriage can be beautiful. I believe it can be beautiful. And it all depends on the two people. Sometimes, it's not as we wish it to be, but you need to work with what you have. Sometimes when you make the effort to work with what you have as a man, or what you have as a husband, what you have as a wife, if you make the conscious effort to work together with it, you can make it beautiful. No one is perfect. But sometimes, sometimes you need to run for your life. Sometimes you just need to run for your life because you will die. Marriage can make an all and make you. Marriage can make all and make you. There are so many videos out there talking about how a woman, you have to keep yourself, you have to do this, you have to look perfect, you have to have more sex with your, your husband, you have to do this, you have to do that to keep your man. 99% of marriage depends on the woman. Which part of the Bible is that written? It takes two. And if the two people agree to work at it, I think it can be beautiful. I think it can be beautiful. Let's start changing the narrative of marriage so that people will know that marriage is not that bad. It is not that bad. It is meant to be good.